Even before the tip, the rivalry between the Lobos and UTEP played out with coaches exchanging words over practice time on the pit floor. The Miners went a little long as the Lobos were preparing to come out. Both sides were heated about the mix-up. Would it carry over into the Lobos' first-round NIT matchup with the Miners? We don't know. Lobos without Doris Gary for the first time in four seasons and Drew Gordon knocking off two of his 18 points. Lobos down 11 to 10. Then Randy Culpepper trying to keep it that way with three of his 23. UTEP up 19 to 17 after the ball drops. A.J. Hardiman only scores three, two of them to give the Lobos their first lead since the opening of the game, 22-21. Hardiman also eight rebounds tonight. Kendall Williams before the half, the drive, two off the window. Lobos by four at recess, 34 to 30. Second half now, Jamal Fenton behind the back to Drew Gordon. 36 to 30, Lobos, Fenton filling in, getting his first start. Kendall Williams knocking down three of his 18 points. Lobos by 10, 43 to 33. Then it's Williams again off, but Flinton defection to Gordon for the finish. Gordon, 18 points and nine rebounds. Phillip McDonald starting to heat up. Back to back threes and 12 points. The Lobos win it, 69 to 57. And we'll travel to the number one seed, Alabama, next. We still don't know when that game will be. It could be Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Rebounds, look at that. Lobos playing crusher on the boards, 41 to 26. Three-point shooting percentage. Lobos also winning that battle, but UTEP actually, as far as overall field goals, shooting better, but the Lobos get the victory. Lobos coach Steve Alford, proud of his team without Darius Gary. We're up double figures most of the second half. We dominated the glass, uh, which we thought we could. Um, so I, I just couldn't be more proud. Most of the time, we got two or three freshmen out there on the floor at the same time. And um, to do that without Darius speaks volumes of this team, and I couldn't be more proud of them.